students let us discuss about the types of mirrors and uh, the definition of uh, mirror so first of all mirror so mirror <coughs> is a uh, an instrument or a device which creates the image of an object okay is a device which forms the image of any object which is placed in front of it so <clears throat> there can be various types of mirrors but basically in this ray optics chapter of your standard your level you will be mostly dealing with the uh, concave mirror convex mirror plane mirror basically these are the mirrors uh, which are used but apart from this you have uh, parabolic uh, cylindrical various types but basically we will concentrate our focus our attention to this uh, plane mirror or max mirror in plane mirror the surface is flat like this and one side is uh, reflecting this is silver this side is silver some type of coating is there which uh, prevents the light from entering because it is made up of glass so we, without uh, silvering the light will enter and pass through this okay so if I have to think of something like a, uh, painting or I'll make it opaque but then I'll make it reflecting in nature so light uh, falling on this will be reflected back into the stadium if I don't polish this light will uh, if I don't polish this like this then light will pass through like this so silvering is done so that light is not uh, passed through it is reflected back so it has to be okay then uh, here if uh, the ray strikes like that then uh, according to the law of uh, reflections so this angle of incidence must be equal to the angle of reflection this is the angle of reflection and these two angles must be same it should be always this once it falls this uh, direction of uh, the reflection is uh, predetermined it cannot go in any other direction other than this direction because uh, these two angles must be same this is what is in a plane mirror that is generally when using at home is plane mirror okay the surface is flat is a plane and you see the image uh, uh, when you stand in front of it the image is formed to be a uh, virtual image because uh, that is for the image is formed because not the uh, real uh, rays are actually meeting there but they are appears to be meeting uh, at the back side of the mirror so when you see the mirror in front of you you see the image uh, behind the mirror uh, so that is a virtual image that you see and it is uh, erect in nature that means if i start like this i will see the image like that only so there is no option up and down or upside down or inverted image the object is like this the image is also like this this is called the erect image if the object is like this and the image form is like that then it's called inverted image so and uh, the size uh, is the uh, same we see the same size uh, as that of the in, the, in case of a plane mirror, if you stand uh, in front of a plane mirror, you see the image of the same size as that of the object. As far as this concave mirror is concerned, concave mirror is like this. How it is uh, this is uh, from a sphere? It is cut. It is cut from a sphere. You take a sphere 
and you cut it some section of this and then that becomes a mirror uh, obviously that uh, must be hollow sphere okay that will give uh, if there is a hollow sphere you cut some section like this this is the mirror and now now comes the case uh, which uh, is called uh, concave and which is called convex mirror now both the concave and convex mirror are formed from the part of the sphere now I mean this part if I cut it then uh, and I uh, draw somewhere here like that then this cut part is uh, is the uh, it can act now as uh, both type of mirror depending on which side you are silvering if I silver this side or I have this part that I cut and I silver this side If I see this side, this is called concave mirror. This is called concave mirror. Concave mirror inside part is uh, reflecting in nature. So light falls like this and uh, passes like that. Something like this will happen. And uh, this is your uh, concave mirror. Concave. This cave is formed here. You can see something cave type is formed. So concave mirror. Here, this is called convex mirror, but here I have drawn. This is the reflecting surface. So, if light falls on this, nothing will happen. There is no reflection. But uh, then I will draw the light coming from in this direction. This direction because this is the reflecting surface. So, this side is convex in nature. Convex. So, therefore, this mirror is convex mirror. So, light will move like that. So, something like this. We will discuss about those points, uh, which point it will pass through afterwards. But uh, this is how your uh, concave mirror or con convex mirror is formed because uh, you take a sphere and cut some part of it then uh, you get the uh, concave mirror or convex mirror and uh, whether you want to make it uh, convex or concave depending on which side you want to silver it okay so that is that is how you prepare your mirrors okay thank you